Welcome to the program. We begin in Ukraine, where Russian missiles have struck the western city of Lviv, killing at least four people. The region had been relatively calm since it's away from the main front lines. The regional governor says around 60 apartments and 50 cars were hit and set alight. Dozens of people are said to be injured and the death toll is expected to rise. Hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians have sought safety in Lviv. Let's bring in Rob McBride now, who joins us live from the capital, Kyiv. Hello there, Rob. What's the latest coming out of that western Ukrainian city? Yeah, this does seem to be a significant attack in the very west of the country, and particularly in the city of Lviv, in a college district of that city. A number of buildings and dormitory buildings have been badly damaged, and in particular, one residential complex right in the center seems to have borne the brunt of this strike, with the top floors uh, completely destroyed. The death toll now stands uh, at four people killed, with dozens of others injured. Throughout the hours of darkness, throughout the nighttime, uh, Rescue teams have been there looking for any survivors pulling injured from under the rubble. Uh, the mayor of Lviv, Andriy Sadovy, on his Telegram channel has said that this is one of the worst attacks on civilian infrastructure in Lviv since the war began. And certainly it's uh, true that um, while Lviv is a very important uh, regional center for the, for the west of the country, an important logistics hub with its proximity to the Polish border with communications in and out uh, of, of the Ukraine. Uh, it, it has a, avoided much of the uh, destruction that other cities have seen. It's hundreds of kilometers away from uh, any front line. It uh, does not often get attacked, and very rarely residential buildings like this uh, are, are destroyed in such, a, in such a way. According to the Ukrainian military, overnight a total of, uh, of 10 caliber missiles were fired by the Russians from submarines and warships in the Black Sea, seven of those being intercepted. And Rob, in another development, Ukraine's military is claiming to have carried out a significant strike in the east of the country, possibly destroying a Russian military base. What more are you hearing about that? Yeah, this is video which has been circulating on social media that's now been uh, released, re-released by Ukrainian military showing an attack on the city of Makivka outside of Donetsk, a Russian-controlled city, uh, that uh, a series of big explosions followed by a huge blast and a fireball. Uh, as often is the case, uh, both sides, while accepting this has taken place, there are conflicting reports about exactly what we are seeing here. According to the Ukrainians, this was a Russian base and ammunition a storage dump, which would seem to be borne out by the pictures of exploding ammunition. According to the Russians, this was a civilian area that was attacked. They say one person was killed and dozens more civilians uh, were injured. I think the point the Ukrainians uh, are making uh, with this, uh, with, with announcement of this attack, is that uh, you know while uh, any progress on the front lines of this conflict since the long-awaited counteroffensive is several weeks in has has begun. The progress seems to have been extremely slow. We've not been seeing the kind of breakthroughs that maybe many had predicted. Uh, they want to make the point that their campaign of uh, targeting Russian targets, uh, Russian resources way behind Russian front lines of headquarters uh, groups, of logistics hubs, fuel dumps and all the rest, that that continues. And despite Russian claims that they are repelling the, this counteroffensive, the Ukrainian point is that gradually they are weakening the Russian forces. All right. Thanks so much for the update. As always, Rob McBride in Kyiv.